Tolstoy tells the story of a man who stopped to give alms to a beggar. To his dismay, he found that he had left his money at home. Stammering his explanation, he said, I'm sorry, brother, but I have nothing to give you. Never mind, said the beggar. The word brother means more to me than money. According to Catholic teaching, the church is the first and foremost about people, not a physical building. And the first reading today emphasises this point. It says, when Paul and Barnabas arrived at Antioch, they assembled the church, that is the people, and gave an account of how God had used them to open the door of faith to the unbelievers. God can also use us if we let him to strengthen each other's faith be they part of the church community, or even far removed from it. When the retired Pope Benedict was launching the Year of Faith in 2013, he wrote, The door of faith is always open for us, inviting us into a life of deeper communion with God. But this should result in a deeper communion with each other in the church as well. We can't separate communion with God from being part of the people of God within the church. The two must go together. They can't be separated. I was at a talk last week in the pastoral centre here in Sheffield given by an American priest on how to make the church more appealing to people, especially to those who have stopped coming to Mass. He said, not only must we love Jesus, but also love his church. When people say they believe in God, but not the church, they're missing the point. They're misguided. That's like saying, I believe in royalty, but not in the monarchy. Without the church for a start, there would be no mass or sacraments. And these are the principal means by which divine life is dispensed to our souls. If Christ didn't think the church was important, then he wouldn't have founded it. It's as simple as that. He said to Peter, Thou art Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. There it is, in black and white. Our job as church people is to allow the door of our personal faith to open wide, so that, like Paul and Barnabas, we can draw new people into the church community in order that their lives may be shaped by the saving words of the gospel and strengthened by the Eucharist and indeed all the sacraments. When Paul and Barnabas assembled the church in Antioch, they set about giving an account of all that God had done through them. Here we see the Christ and his church working in tandem. The church is described as an extension of the presence of Christ into the world. As church members, he gives us the honour of being his associates, furthering that extension. The church doesn't exist for its own sake in order to build up its power base on earth, but it exists as God's instrument in furthering his kingdom of love in the world. The only way we are going to come across a genuine church people is by our love for one another as the gospel today relates. That is the cement which binds the community together. Our credibility as a church community rests on it. Thank you all for listening and God bless you all.